can use this to reposition it if I want it on the top. Okay, go ahead. Uh, now, when you click on fun, you put a fun page in, but mm -hmm. it's actually not going to load that because that fun's just a menu. No, if I click on it, it will it will load it. If I mouse over it, it will do, it will oh. expand the menu. So, like, if I go and do this. If I mouse over it, it shows a menu. If I click on it, it would take me to the fun page. Yes? Is there any way you could disable that so that it could only cover over? Um, yeah. Probably by actually not associating it with a page. Let's see what that will do for me. So, whoops, that's not the one I want to change. Fun. If I don't associate that with a page, I think that would do what you're asking. So there it mouses over it. If I click on it, it doesn't really do anything. It just reloads the page. And then I can go to hobbies or whatever. Now, there's all sorts of parameters you can use to customize this. All right. Let's take a look at some of them. All right. First thing we can do is we can say how many levels. If you notice over here, there's a static display level, and initially it's set to one. That means it will show one level deep on my menus. If I change that to two, it shows two levels deep. So it shows the top level plus the stuff underneath that. And again, your hierarchy can go as many levels deep as it needs to, right? And you can specify as many <coughs> levels as you want to see. Let's see what else. Sitting here looking at the print is small. I can imagine it's small for you. There's one. Oh, orientation. Right now it's oriented vertically. I could orient it horizontally if I'd prefer. All right. There's one other one. separator. Characters used to separate parts of the path. No, okay, that should be a slash. Okay. Anyhow, um, there's a lot of ways that you can configure this and customize it. So don't look at this and say, no, that's not how I want it to look. All right. Therefore, um, I'm not going to use it. No, again, remember, this is like any other ASP.NET control. There's a set of um, attributes that you can customize this to get it the way uh, that you want. Now, related to this is a tree view. All right? Tree views are a different way that you could do a menu. And I'm going to go and add a tree view to this example, but please don't go and turn something in with a menu and a tree view. I'm only doing this for an example. I did this one semester where my example included both, and people either just out and out copied my example, or they didn't somehow get the message, or whatever, and they had a tree view and, and, and uh, a menu. You don't need to do that. This is a different way to accomplish your navigation. And again, you can look at it and see which one looks and works better for you. So, under the toolbox, in addition to the menu, there is a tree view. 
I'm going to go and put underneath here. And I'm going to put a couple of brake tags here because I'm lazy today. It's not a good idea. I'm going to take a couple of points off my lecture today and tell myself to redo it if I want full credit. All right. But I can go in here now and I can do almost the same thing except the behavior is a little bit different. The structure is the same, the behavior is different. So I can go in here and I can edit nodes of the tree. I can add, again, my home page, default.aspx. I can add, on the same level, my fun page and the URL fun.aspx. I can add underneath fun hobbies hobbies.aspx and oh I didn't want to go and do that I want to go and add I didn't want to do that either there we go. I want to add, on the same level as hobbies, my vacation and now, if we look at this, if we go in and look at this, the difference is, is this gives us a structure very similar to like what you get in Windows Explorer. In other words, I can close a node by clicking the little minus sign or open the node by clicking the plus sign. Same idea as this, put my mouse over it and it appears. The only difference is I remove my mouse and it disappears. Here, I can choose to expand it or contract it. And if I expand it, it stays expanded even when I move my mouse away from it. All right. Um, just two different ways to do this. You know, it, it's totally up to you which way that you'd want uh, to do it and what you think would be a better interaction for your users to do. So, you can, uh, again, you can pick either of these two. Yes? If you move to another link, does it still stay expanded? Is there um, that's a good question. Seems to. Which makes sense, right? Because let's think this through. Controls in ASP.NET maintain state, right? That is that they remember what values they had. Well, you might say, hmm, we're on a new page. So that isn't the same control. Yes, it is, because that control is on the master page. So that master page control is still alive from the previous page. So it remembers, it maintains the state of that, and it will as it renders a new page using that same control, it will remember its previous state and, and display it that way. That's a, that's a really good question. Excellent question. Other questions about this? Is this what you're considering breadcrumb? No. Breadcrumbs are something else. Uh, we will talk about those on Thursday. Essentially, uh, breadcrumbs go very closely with a sitemap, and we'll, we'll talk about the sitemap file and how to create breadcrumbs from it and how to actually use a sitemap file to generate your menu so you don't have to type in these hundreds of different pages. Breadcrumbs are sitemap paths. Sitemap path is what they call breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is sort of just a generic term that you hear used for it. All right. We'll see you over in lab.